Hi, I'm Georgie Fletcher, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to be showing you how to put together a natural cream cleanser with exfoliating charcoal beads. Makes for a great product story, visually it looks great and it's fun to use as well. So let's get to the bench and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so this is the product we're going to be making today. Looks amazing, beads are all suspended really well. Nice viscosity for a cream cleanser. Now what you'll find is what's very important about this product is the ability to suspend these beads here because if we didn't, we would have them sinking to the bottom. So you can see in the beaker here as well, they're all nice and homogeneously throughout the actual product rather than settling at the bottom. So that's what we want. And this all comes down to the rheology modifier that we use to suspend them. Okay, so first of all, I have my water phase here. To this, I'm just going to add some sodium phytate, which is a natural chelating agent. And to this, I'm going to be adding my natural gum and humectant, which I will slurry together. So I've chosen here the Cosphoderm X34, which is from Cosphotech. This is a really good grade xanthan gum. So again, natural, and it's also non-tacky, feels great on the skin and goes really easy into the formula. So I'm going to slurry this together so we don't get any fish eyes. And you'll just see how easy this goes into a slurry, which will be added to the formula really easy to avoid any clumping. Okay, so we're going to add that into our water. Give that a good mix together. And then we're going to put it on heat. And we're going to pop that on heat and we want it to get to 80 degrees. So I'm going to explain to you while that's heating about the waxes, the emulsifying waxes that I've used and the lipids. So you can see here, we have a lot of waxy material, powdered material, and not a lot of lipids, which we don't use too many in a cream cleanser. Now, instead of actually heating this separately like we would with a standard emulsion, we're going to just add this to a really hot water phase. And that way we can emulsify in the one step without burning the waxes. So we have here our anionic emulsifier, which I've chosen glycel stearate citrate, which is natural. You'll see the beads here, which are the Emil Glade PL6850 from BASF. This is a non-ionic, high HLB emulsifier, which is really good for wash off, which is what we need in this cleansing product. I've also got some shea butter and some avocado oil, and I've also got a little bit of a Crotamol ISIS from Crota. This is a really good ester. It optimizes the water holding potential in the natural skin barrier. So it actually helps to reduce water loss as well. Okay, so that's nice and hot. All right, you can see a lovely gel's formed now. Now it's heated. Now again, as we were talking about, we need this really nice gel network to suspend those particles and Xanthan Gun's really good at suspending the particles. So I'm just going to add all of my material into here now. And we're just going to give that a good stir while it's hot to emulsify all those lipids and waxes. Okay, so there you have a nice glossy emulsion. We just need to let that cool down to under 40 degrees before we add our heat sensitive materials. While that's cooling, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the charcoal beads. So as you can see, they're perfectly round charcoal beads in there. These are designed to not dissolve when we add them straight to the product. 
they're only designed to break on application when we put it on the skin so you can see them there activated charcoal is especially porous and it has a high absorbance capacity so it's great for skincare products that are detoxifying purifying good for teenage skins men oily combination skin because it will have that absorbing factor for the oil that we want and it also leaves a good skin feel without feeling stripped or dry so once this is cooled enough we're going to add our heat sensitive materials so I have here some essential oil keeping it natural you can choose your own I've chosen an orange essential oil for a nice fresh fragrance I'm also going to add some tocopherol because we're using plant oils to prevent any oxidation occurring and of course my preservative this is GeoGuard ECT which is suitable to use in natural formulas once I've got all those in I'm going to add the charcoal beads but I'm just going to mix it in very gently because I don't want to break any of those beads now you can use less you can use more it's about getting what you like as a visual aspect as well too less you won't really notice it and it won't really give you an exfoliating effect and the color on breakage will be less so I've gone for 2%, which I find is a good amount. And you can see these are going in really well and just staying all uniform throughout the actual product. Now the charcoal does require a slightly higher pH. So this needs to be between 6.8 and 7.2 to be stable. So I'm just going to check and adjust my pH. And there you have it. I'll cover that with some Glad Wrap. And we can assess that tomorrow when it's reached full viscosity. So let me show you how this works on the skin. So you can see how the charcoal breaks on application. it starts off exfoliating with the beads and then as you massage it in more they will break up and the product goes gray and there you have it so there you go that's how easy it is to put together the natural cream cleanser with charcoal beads it's visually fun it washes off great with water and leaves the skin feeling really fresh and clean if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive all our notifications on any videos coming up and remember to email us on the email you see on the screen for all our free formulas and reports happy formulating